everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie and then the 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. The biggest basis of this video is going to really be how much does the Limited actually get you over the Laramie Space since there's such a huge price difference. This truck stickers for $57,000, and that truck stickers for about $69,000 roughly. So as always, we're going to do a quick walk around first and foremost, then I am going to sum things up by going over again the trucks, everything, and then kind of put forth to you guys what I think is the best route to go. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodger M. Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the trucks. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Ram. Now let's go into the hood of both of the trucks and this is where things are going to be a little bit different. So let's start with the Laramie here. So as you can see, we have the naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque, fuel economies, 15 around town, 21 on the highway. Whereas this limited, again, has a 5.7 Hemi. However, this one has the e-torque system on it. So 395 horsepower, 410, I almost said 510, my apologies, 410 pound-feet of torque. Both of them are right through an eight-speed automatic. That one gets an extra 130 pound-feet of torque off the line from that e-torque system. Fuel economy is a little bit better, 17 around town, 22 on the highway. And then engine options for both these trucks. So it differs. Laramie, you can get the V6, you can get the Hemi, you can get the Hemi with the e-torque, and you can get the Eco Diesel once that is available. The Limited, you can get the V6 or the e-torque Hemi and then the Eco Diesel once it's available. You cannot get the regular 5.7 liter Hemi with the Limiteds anymore. So let's go over things in the front. Let's start with the Laramie here. So we're gonna start down and then go up, I guess, for the first time ever. So tow hooks just down below. You can see parking sensors right there. And then you've got your fog lights that are integrated, full LED lights. These are LED reflector lights. Got the Ram logo and you can see how it's all blacked out. This is a sport package, so bumpers are all body colored. And then you can see the sport hood that comes with this. You got little vents on the hood. 5.7 Hemi badging 1500 on that, but you can see how it kind of holds the whole front end appearance on the Laramie. And then if we pop over to the Limited, you can see you still get tow hooks and parking sensors, fog lights down below. The fog lights are identical between the two trucks. Now this is where things change a little bit. You can see how the grill looks. The Limited does kind of like that interesting, it's like a spindle type grill is what I would call it. And then you can see the lights are reflector, not reflector, sorry, projector LEDs. So reflector LEDs versus projector LEDs on the Limited. So these are a lot brighter. They have dynamic light movement. So they'll kind of turn as you turn the steering wheel. Whereas the Laramies to accommodate for that, when you turn the steering wheel, they'll turn on the fog light just down below to illuminate the pathway. So two different ways to get to kind of the same Thing. Now the rim setup is actually different. So this particular one has the 22 inch rims, 285 millimeter tires. This is the 20 inch rims that come with the Laramies. And then this is 275 millimeter tires. You can see the fender flares, identical between the two trucks. Everything's the same there. Ram badging, Ram limited badging, and then it has a stripe that goes all the way down to the side, kind of like a little chrome stripe, but let's head to the back. Here's our key fob for the Laramie. So you got a couple functions, you lock and unlock, your tailgate release and remote start. So press that twice, first time we'll lock it, second time we'll start it right up. Press it again, that'll shut it off. And then this one has the tailgate release, so you press that twice and then that'll lower down the tailgate. You can see you've got the protective plastic right here on the back of the bed, full spray in bed liner, LED bed lights with the cargo slider hooks, power sliding window. This one has the cargo light up top, just like all the other trucks. And then picking this up with that multi-function tailgate, the bed is a little bit heavier. You can kind of hear the sound difference. And then opening up the multi-function tailgate so you can see that it opens up there on that latch and then you can see it opens up here. So it makes getting in and out a lot easier. And then we can fully shut it. Ram logo, four by four, Laramie. And then you can see dual outlet exhaust tips. And then you've got a little receiver hitch down below. And then you've got your plugins for towing. And then finally, LED lights here on the side. So full LEDs on the Laramie. Here's our key fob for the Limited. So it's got a couple more functions. It says Limited on the back of it. You've got your lock and unlock, your remote start tailgate release. And then this one has the air suspension. All Limiteds come without a standard equipment, but press that function twice and that'll start it right up. And then if you press that again, it'll shut it off and then we can lower down the tailgate on this truck. Notice that happens quite a bit faster compared to a truck with a multi-function tailgate. Full bed liner, even on that part. You've got your LED bed light sliders right there. Power sliding window with the cargo light just above. And then this bed is significantly lighter and easier to put into place compared to the multi-function tailgate. Ram logo on the back, 4x4 badging, limited. 
You can see the exhaust tips. You got the same receiver hitch with all the plugins. And then the lights, again, full LEDs on the Limited, identical to the ones on the Laramie. I mean, you can look at them side by side. There you go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this bad boy's got the uh, kick step that I can never seem to get out, and that Laramie does not have the kick step. So, neat little feature right there. Opening up the Laramie here, we can see the door panel in the rear for the Laramie. So we've got the black trim right there with the suede inserts, and then you've got your leather with the contrasted stitching, your window control right here. And then we can see leather with the suede inserts on it. And with the Laramie, this is not This is kind of like the fake leather stuff, so it's not real leather. And then you can actually pull this down right here. So it's kind of like a little center console with the suede insert and some cup holders. You can pick up the seats for a little bit extra storage underneath. And then you can see you've got a little ice bucket right here in this area. And then you can see the whole center console setup. So cup holders with the black trim. You've got your little power outlet with the USBs back here. And then you can see ventilation. Ooh, that was magical. So here is the panel limited. You can see real leather, a lot softer to the touch. Contrasted stitching, leather with embroidering, real wood trim, more leather with contrasted stitching, and it is raining like crazy. You can see one of the speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system, and then you can see we've got more leather here, and I'm actually gonna have to step inside because of the rain. Anyways, we've got wood trim up here, cup holders. You can see the vents here. You got your little USBs and then a full power outlet. And then this still has that same little pull down with the felt in it. And then looking at the seats here, so these seats are all real leather, so they're a lot softer to the touch. They have a unique smell to them compared to the Laramie. So if you kind of are looking for something like that, the Limited is going to be the route to go. Now we have keyless entry in the Laramie, so one touch to lock and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle. You see this door panel in the front looks identical to the one in the rear, so suede insert, black trim with the leather and the stitching all of your window controls and then you've got your adjustments for the memory seats power adjustable mirrors full power adjustments on the seats and then you've got a little lumbar adjustment right there as well and then again we're gonna have to step in sadly because it is raining like crazy but you can see power adjustable pedals right there that is for your parking brake just down below you've got your adjustments for the lights fog lights cargo light those are for your screen dimmer steering wheel is manually adjustable and then under here, you can see the pedal layout with the little hood latch as well. And then let's kind of finish things up on the seats. So you can see the seats say Laramie on it. You can adjust the headrest like that. More suede inserts, just like the seats in the rear with the little piping on it. On the Limited here, we've got that same keyless entry. So one touch to lock it and then put your hand on the back of the door handle to unlock it. The running boards will pop down. More of that beautiful leather that is getting all messed up by the rain not really anyways more stitching that embroidery you've got the beautiful wood trim more leather with the contrasted stitching memory seats right here you've got your adjustments for the window or just to drop them down you got your mirror adjustments and then your power folding mirror button full power adjustments on the seats with your lumbar and then you can see you've got the power adjustable pedals with the little parking brake right there automatic headlights fog lights cargo lights right there and then finishing things up you can see the seats beautiful full leather on these seats of the limited to have that same piping but full leather and then the steering wheel is going to be manually adjustable to start the laramie just put your foot on the brake push the push start and then the truck will start right up now we can see we've got our cruise control right here this is to manually shift the gears yourself ram logo to the leather with the contrasted stitching, your phone controls right here. And then these are the controls to that little center screen. And then behind it, you've got your windshield wiper slash turn signal stock. And here's our little center stack. So you can see you've got your miles per hour right here on this side. On the left side, you've got your RPMs and then you've got the little center screen, which here, I'll scroll through all the menus quickly so you can see all the different bits of information that you can essentially get on the truck, but it's really easy to use. So we have our 8.4 inch touchscreen here. So you can see you've got your functions for the heated and cooled seats right there. And then here's the backup camera, which you can zoom in on and you can see how bipolar the weather is in Utah. It rains for a second and then it decides to stop. But you can see how quick response time this has and then you can see it's got a little navigation function on it and how that all looks dual zone climate with the laramie as well just down below that we've got our analog controls for the radio analog controls for the heated and cooled seats analog controls for the dual zone climate parking sensors are right here this is your tow haul mode that is your stability control which i just turned off by accident 
You've got your little USBs right here. These are to hold your phones and then you've got the full power outlet just down there. So it's an actual like wall outlet. This is your shifter for the eight speed automatic. Two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low and true neutral in that area. And then here's the whole center console setup. So you can pick this up. You've got like a little suede insert right there and then you can fully pick it up. There's little measuring tables on the back. You can slide this back and forth super easily. And then we've got the glove box area. So dual glove box lined with felt. And you can see that it says Laramie on the outside of the glove box and there is contrasted stitching and then there's some soft touch leather there on the dash. But kind of remember that when we look over the limited so you can see the quality difference. Top here, we've got our button for the power rear siding window. that's just out back. Light controls up here as well and that's to drop down the tailgate. And then you've got your universal garage door openers. And then you've got little microphones for the Bluetooth. Other than that, it's pretty simple up top. Now let's wrap things up with this Laramie to go over pricing. So like I said before, this one stickers for about $57,000 roughly before any type of market adjustment. So let's compare this whole interior setup to the Limited just next to us. To start with the Limited, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, push the push start, and then the truck will start right up. Gauges will do a sweep. Now over here on the steering wheel, we've got our cruise control, adaptive cruise control. That's your gear selector. And then see you've got some contrasted stitching, beautiful wood trim at the bottom of the steering wheel, RAM logo in the center, voice commands. These are to control the center stack and then you do have rocker panels on the back of the steering wheel to control the radio stations and then a more wood trim at the top of the steering wheel. Feels very, very premium. Then you got your turn signal and windshield wiper stock just behind there. Now right here we've got our gauge cluster set up. So on the right hand side we've got our speed. On the left hand side we've got the RPMs and then got that little center screen. You can see the fonts a little bit different in the limited but it has all of the same functionality as what the Laramie has. This one has a little bit more safety tech though. So it has that adaptive cruise control. It's got blind spot monitoring on the side perpendicular and parallel parking assistance on it, forward collision warning, rear cross traffic alert as well, and then it's got the lane departure assistance. Wow. Well, here is the 12 inch touchscreen display. You can see you've got your lane departure assistance button up there, parallel and perpendicular parking assistance button. And then you can see you've got climate controls that flank both sides of the screen and then you've got your analog radio controls on both sides just below the touch screen you got your parking sensors your tow haul mode stability control that's for the air suspension your trailer brakes are integrated right there and then let's go over this whole touch screen unit so it has drag and drop just like the 8.4 inch in the laramie you can see the response time on it is really solid in general you can see the nav function fills up the whole touch screen obviously but looks really nice feels really nice still has dual zone climate heated cooled seats and you can see you can do some split screen function with this you can deploy those power steps whenever you want and then here's the regular backup camera so you can see that'll pop up go right on the receiver hitch and then you've got your surround camera system right here so you can see that there's a couple different views that you can go through on the truck with the surround camera and it does give you that bird's eye view which is really nice and makes parking a whole lot easier usbs down here you've got that little void where the uh, cd player used to be shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission and then you've got your two wheel drive you've got your four wheel auto four wheel high four wheel low and then you've got your auto stop start function right there next to the shifter this is if you have the e-torque system and then coming over the center console limited with more of the embroidery has a nice leather and you pick this up you can see suede right there and then you pick this up fully you've still got the measuring tables wood panels right here in the limited and then you can see the full center console setup and then we look at the glove boxes nicest glove box covering in the truck industry i have to say so you can pop these open felt on the inside but i just love the wood on it and then the leather around it very soft touch very premium looking in general up top here we've got our controls like for the power sliding window in the back panoramic sunroof here in this particular limited universal garage door openers as well now wrapping things up on the interior of this limited let's go over pricing so this limited stickers for about sixty nine thousand dollars before any type of market adjustment which if you're good at math, which I sometimes am not, is $12,000 more than that Laramie, which is $57,000. So it is up to you guys to kind of decide if this is all worth $12,000 to you. Well, let's wrap things up for today's video. So again, just to quickly go, $57,000 sticker price, 
$69,000 sticker price before any type of market adjustment. So now we have to decide if it is worth it going to the Limited. So these trucks aren't exactly direct comparables because this doesn't have all the safety tech packages that the Limited has. That one also has the sunroof, power running boards, all that kind of stuff, air suspension. So if you loaded up a Laramie exactly the same as this Limited, you're roughly gonna be about sixty-two dollars to $63,000, give or take. I might be off by a little bit. So really the price difference is only about seven thousand dollars so if you equip these exactly the same so that's when you have to decide is it worth going for the more premium exterior look more premium interior all that kind of stuff is that worth several thousand dollars more that is going to be up to you guys i think it personally is however i will get a laramie because i love the looks and it still has like all the same functionality you still get the heated and cooled seats you still can get the 12 inch touchscreen you still can get all the same stuff as the limited yes the interior materials aren't as nice but i mean i don't really care that much that i would need to pay seven thousand dollars more roughly for that package or in this case twelve thousand dollars more so that is going to sum things up for today's video i really appreciate all of you for watching if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. And then again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the trucks. If you're in the market for a truck, check out their inventory in the description below.